Hello. I'm welcome. Today we're going to be talking about live previewing a theme using Browser Sync. Once you've installed the Stencil CLI, the next steps will be to download a theme to edit and preview live changes using Stencil CLI's Browser Sync functionality. So let's walk through that process of downloading a theme for development, installing theme modules, and serving a live preview using Stencil CLI's Stencil Start command. We'll go with a cornerstone theme as it is the base theme for BigCommerce. And if you haven't already installed Stencil CLI, please refer to the video before this before continuing further. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create an API account for Stencil to obtain store API credentials. Stencil CLI uses various BigCommerce APIs to inject store specific data, like carousel images and products, into the live theme preview it serves up. To do so, you must supply the Stencil CLI with the Stencil CLI token to automatically create a store API account with the scopes and permissions required by Stencil CLI. Select Create Stencil CLI Token in the Create API Accounts dropdown, which you can find in your settings. The Stencil CLI access level can then be set by selecting Local Development Only or Publish Theme. The difference between those two, the local development only, can read the theme related to store data, but cannot publish. Publish theme can read the theme related to store data and push themes to the live storefront. So for this demo, I'm going to name it Theme Onboarding, and I'm going to just keep it at the local development only for now. Once you hit save, you'll get your access tokens. Terminal quick start URL. And a text file with all your API pass tokens, client credentials. Once that is done, we'll need to download the cornerstone theme to our local environment. Um, we will have to use a git clone command in order to get that. Um, the easiest way would just to be to go to the cornerstone repository and pull that I will provide the link to that in the description below one thing I want to touch on um, that is very crucial is updating theme after you downloading it so downloading a theme does not in always include the current configuration of a theme uh, run, but if you run a stencil pull command to obtain the theme's most recently saved version, you can pull that um, before you start your uh, theme development and creating a live preview with Browser Sync. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to locate our cornerstone theme and get the file folder path and open up a terminal there. And then once we have that, We just need to put in our stencil initiation command. Um, 
and our URL and token. Stencil start. Okay. Let's see here. into an issue go back to the documentation and oh there we go forgot to install the theme modules before I did the stencil init which is important and kind of putting the cart before the horse so we'll try that There we go. Now we will run our stencil in it command. And run stencil start. There we go. We have successfully created a live preview using Browser Sync, and we can see it using our local host. And that'll run on our server of 3000 to preview real time changes. And that is how you set up browser sync with your theme 
I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.